In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. strikes again. It even says so on the card. Oh, don't be an idiot. The angel would never stoop so low as to steal from children. I'm telling you, I saw the real culprits. You're saying there's multiple angels on the loose? What? No, there's not. Then the angel in the slums is their leader? Hell no. <laughs> How can you be so sure? How can you? Madam M told me about a merc. That you? Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends! The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the Angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. The expressway's just past Evergreen Park. Hurry, those thieves have got a head start. They won't catch themselves.
Garden Angel strikes again, suckers. <laughs> and all it took was one quick card. Too easy. Hey, it's you. What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Oh, play dead! Play dead! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a drupal? Uh, what are we doing? Huh? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! <laughs> Angels, get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the masks. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should've listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the ton stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing him. Huh. Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. I wonder if I'm an accomplice. show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old Terpsichol left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying to mommy. Yeah. I knew you could do it. That's how 
it's done. Your form's looking good. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. You've got this. Come on. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. You've got this. Come on. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. You've got this. Come on. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it. Your form's yeah. looking good. You've got this. Come on. Not yeah. bad at all. That's how it's done. I knew you could do it. Your form's yeah. looking good. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. You've got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. Not yeah. bad at all. Your form's looking good. That's how it's done. I knew you could. You've got this. Come on. Yeah. That it? How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madam M's. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madam M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite at the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! No holding back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now. That's it. It's on now. Let's finish this. 
champ stands victorious once more! Cloud wins! Cuddy's quest for sweet revenge has ended in bitter defeat! Very nicely done! <laughs> Here's your cut. You earned it. Wait, you're here? What about Aerith? My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. You're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman? Or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. <laughs>